the Development Corporation, Clinton County, New York. Just 45 minutes from Montreal awaits prime, shovel-ready or existing industrial sites, a strong workforce, and ample financing. Discover the possibilities. Chances are you've heard of the company. Its glittering luxury chandeliers are found on the sets of major motion pictures and in the finest homes, hotels, and landmarks around the world. And nearly all of them are designed, manufactured, and assembled by hand at this plant right here in Plattsburgh. Arnold Schoenbeck carried on his family's business and legacy when he moved their crystal chandelier company from Montreal to Plattsburgh in 1974. Tim Patno was one of the first workers hired. Literally there were 25 employees when I started, and now there's over 400. Patno is now the director of manufacturing, overseeing this factory that creates some of the finest crystal chandeliers and lighting fixtures under two legendary brand names, Schoenbeck and Swarovski. Both companies trace their roots and heritage back to 1800 Europe, one a world leader in precision cut crystals and the other its biggest customer, using those crystals to create stunning and elegant custom design chandeliers. Five years ago, the two companies joined forces under the Swarovski name. Early 2010, the decision was made to make this the world headquarters for the Swarovski lighting business. Tens of thousands of lights filling the pages of their catalogs to their showroom floors in Dallas and Milan. To some of the world's most expensive custom-made crystal chandeliers and lamps that begin right here on the scratch pad of the company's designers. I draw all these things and uh, people are like, fantastic, I want to buy it for a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, a million dollars. And I'm like, uh, wow, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Mark Smith got a taste of what was to come his first few days on the job. Uh, and they're discussing how to design the largest crystal dragon in the world. Some of Mark's signature designs include the largest chandelier in Macy's newly renovated flagship store in New York City, and these richly decorated lamps that welcome VIPs to a high rollers club in Las Vegas. If you rub your hand along this, because we wanted it to be a kind of a good luck charm, if you ran your, your hand along this, it sounds like chips because of the metals. It's like so it sounds, it sounds like money. A cool lamp, but an engineering challenge to pull off. Here you have like a building full of brilliant people. Uh, and this is a perfect example. Vern Lashway is one of the talented minds that helps turn Mark's designs into reality. He started a second career going back to school in his 40s and has been with the company for 10 years. I really thought as I was ready to graduate from school, I was really concerned you know, with, a, with an area a fairly small industrial area like Plattsburgh, I really thought I was going to have to move away. Were you surprised when this opportunity came along? Oh, I was just so, I was so happy. Robin Jarvis takes the blueprints and turns them into 3D computer images for the engineers to actually create the parts they need. From a design to a warm laser part in the uh, hand of the design engineer can take only three or four minutes. Rebecca Cooper runs the laser machine that then cuts many of the parts from steel. And it's phenomenal that we go from such a raw, rough steel to uh, something elegant and refined. It's really an amazing process. Across the plant, Jonas Hastings is using a computerized lathe to create a coupling for the wiring. This part here would normally take uh, around four operations to make complete. Whereas now with this machine, you can do it all in one. Britt Lindsay also uses computer technology to bend and mold the steel with precision. I enjoy being able to identify a part that's on the final product saying, hey, I had something to do with that. And while many of the workers use state-of-the-art high-tech equipment, much of the work is still done the old-fashioned way, by hand just the way it's been done for generations. Brenda Liberty will spend up to 20 hours attaching thousands of crystals to this frame. Makes you feel good. When you're done and you see the finished product, it just makes you feel like you've accomplished something. Steve LeClaire will coat and then bake the color into the frames in the powder room. 
with co-worker Jamie Barber giving some of them a more antique look with hand detailing. While Jason Gagne will take clear glass components and paint them any color to match a customer's crystal. Make them happy and it makes me happy. Just about every product that we've got is touched by somebody's hands at some time to actually put it together and apply those finishing touches with the, uh, the crystal and the frame itself. One of the brand new LED lights from the Swarovski Centerpieces line is a perfect example of modern design with thousands and thousands of tiny cut crystals all attached by hand. And while many of the Schonbeck chandeliers are more traditional and elegant, they do have lines with a cutting edge look like this smaller chandelier with Swarovski Elements crystals assembled piece by piece by workers like Valerie Aka. It's our foray into LED lighting. As we start to transition out of incandescent lighting, we're doing more and more with halogen and now with uh, LED lighting. And those newer lines also use new materials, like this one being assembled by Christine Wilson. It's Swarovski's Empire Crystal Chandelier made out of leather. This is exciting to do something new. That's what we try to do, is excel with the quality and show people that we do make the best, the finest crystal chandelier, whether it be contemporary, traditional, a custom piece, that when you buy one from us, that you are getting the best. And for the company, a huge part of that consistent quality is the dedication and fine workmanship that comes from their employee. Uh, we've got a fantastic team that puts the, you know, their heart and soul into these fixtures to uh, you know, give people a beautiful chandelier for years to come. The Development Corporation, Clinton County, New York. À seulement 45 minutes de Montréal, la société offre des sites industriels de premier plan, déjà prêts pour un aménagement ou l'excavation, une forte main d'œuvre et plusieurs options de financement. Découvrez les possibilités.